Hey guys, um, what I have here is a <clears throat> roll of uh, silver solder. It's a quarter of a pound, it's four ounces, and um, it was provided to me by a friend of mine, and uh, he's uh, he works for a heating and cooling company. He says this is the brand and the type of solder that they use at work. It's uh, silver solder, lead free. <clears throat> now, of course, he got this from the hardware store because uh, what you know, I mean, what they have at work, what he can provide to me was is going to be scrap. It's uh, bits and pieces, and it's. <clears throat> probably got flux and, and crud and crap from the bottom of the toolbox the bottom of the truck or whatever and uh, we were discussing the fact that you know silver solder does contain silver it's got a per certain percentage of silver in it <clears throat> and he wanted to know if uh, if the silver could be reclaimed out of it and uh, well, I'm sure that it can. And uh, so he went out and purchased this roll just for um, me to uh, to check and see if I can reclaim the silver out of it <laughs> and how much can be reclaimed out of this 4-ounce roll. Um, this roll came from a hardware store. Um, it's a brand new roll. And uh, it was bought <clears throat> specifically for the purpose of uh, this experiment. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm going to take this roll and uh, the uh, the components in it is listed as ten copper antimony and uh, silver so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the roll the whole roll and uh, put it in a container put hydrochloric acid in it and see if I can uh, dissolve the uh, the tin away from the solder and uh, hopefully it'll give me a uh, the other components which is going to be the copper antimony and the silver and uh, I, I guess after that I'm going to incinerate or even melt it digest in nitric acid and uh, see if I can cement the uh, silver out and, and hopefully um, we'll leave the antimony and uh, behind I'm not sure if uh, if it'll dissolve in either acid and I'm not sure that it won't cement out with the copper I guess the only way we'll know is to for me to do this and see what's going to happen with it I may have to run it through an electrolytic cell to uh, <clears throat> to refine it further after that but that's why they call it experimenting um, if I can get the silver out of it and get it in a pure form he said that he can get pounds and pounds of this stuff so uh, for any of you that's interested in uh, refining silver solder for the silver content I'm gonna try this it's going to be with a known weight. It's uh, it's going to be a four ounce sample, and uh, I'm going to start on it today, and we're going to try to get the silver as pure as we can, and then that'll give everyone an idea about exactly how much silver they can get from uh, four ounces of 
silver solder. Hopefully we'll get some good data out of it. 